it's Rebecca with Rainnail Studio and today I'm just giving you guys the rundown on how I perform my basic pedicure service using the footsie bath. So of course we start with setup and inside of the footsie bath I do have a liner for easy sanitation purposes. I fill the footsie bath with half a gallon of room temperature water and the other half I actually put into a water warmer. The FTSE bath does have two different settings. We have vibrations and then we have heat settings. Of course, the power button. In the center here is a little sensor that is supposed to activate heat when any weight is applied. I am adding some foam bath and some Epsom salt just to add a little bit of personality. Then I will go ahead and add some cuticle softener and the hot water. When adding the hot water, you want to make sure it's not boiling. You want to make sure it's a comfortable temperature so that when the client puts their feet in, you don't burn them. But this little thing here is very cheap. I think I got it for less than $15 at Target. And my lovely model today, I'm going to let them soak while I set up and I will show you guys what I use for a basic pedicure. So here are my basic items. I have the cuticle nippers, cuticle pusher, file, and buffer. Then these are just all of my extra supplies if I need them, but they're you know right in my reach. This is my entire setup. I have extra towels, my cart that I sit on, and my cart that has all of my items. I start out with adding cuticle softener to the toenail and cuticle area. And what I learned in school is that we should clip the toenails and file them dry. But what I have experienced is that the toenails, you know, they fly all over the place and it just gets very dusty. So I like to moisten them up a little bit first. And then I do not use a traditional toenail clipper. I don't feel like it can get those angles that I need. So I like to go in with these cuticle or you can call them toenail nippers. Of course, I go in and file, and then I will buff if I need to, but my model here did not need any buffing. I've been using this body scrub here. I do use a spatula just to avoid any cross contamination. And then of course I apply it to the wet foot and give, you know, a little bit of a massage. Nothing too intense. Once I have rinsed off the client's feet, I go ahead and place an extra towel just to avoid feeling any of the damp water from the previous steps. And then I dry the foot off completely so that I can go in and add some cuticle oil and some lotion.
cleanup is very simple. I take a box that is labeled dirty and I place all of my implements that need to be sanitized and disinfected and then I just roll up all of my other disposable items into the paper towel and throw it away. It's that simple. And as far as the footsie bath goes, it's the easiest thing. You just take it pour out your water and then you can throw away this liner and you're done. I spray everything down, let it sit for a few minutes and then I wipe everything up and it's as easy as that. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I hope to see you soon.